Hello and welcome to the TTI Distribution Download, the podcast where we talk about all things happening in the world of electronic components with the specialists of TTI. Today it's another installment of Big Ideas and Little Known Facts about Connectors with John Sandy of TTI and Dan Venuto of Molex. Thanks, Jim, and uh, hello, everybody. Welcome to uh, our podcast, Big Ideas and Little Known Facts in the World of Connectors. I'm John Sandy from TTI, and I'm here with my co-host. Dan Venuto with Molex, and today we will be talking to Jonathan Thompson, product manager in the Molex High Power Group, to discuss connectors, product development, and the importance of TTI to them. So, hi, Jonathan. Um, why don't we begin by telling our listeners a little bit about uh, you and your, your background in the industry? Thanks, John. So, I've been with Molex and, and working with the uh, electronic OEMs for the last 12 years. I started as a sales engineer calling, calling on customers in the uh, mill aero, consumer, industrials um, on the East Coast. Um, then I've been, uh, I supported cable assemblies for consumer and commercial customers. And then for the last years, I've been working um, with high current, high power customers globally. Thinking about your customer base today, what uh, type of customers, what type of industries are you working with for high, high current, high power? So I've worked with companies all over the world, mostly on power supplies, batteries, charging devices. Um, we've seen some robotics, um, even medical, uh, and uh, racks and servers, of course. That's great. A lot of uh, a, a, di- a good good variety of industries there. Can you tell us a little bit about the high power business at Molex? What makes it such a good fit for TTI and distribution? Yeah, so we've been seeing that the market's really been changing. You know, when you think about the stock shortages and now customers wanting shorter and shorter lead times, um, while at the same time we're seeing that the power markets are looking for higher and higher amperage and voltage for either fast charging, um, adding more devices to the existing systems, or even just they want their power bat- from their batteries to last longer. So we're seeing that design engineers need to build prototypes faster and with higher power than they ever needed before. And that's where our distribution channel really comes in to support these needs um, in a wide range of, of requirements. Um, it's always hard to know the project requirements before you get there. And so our distribution partners are able to um, help quickly turn prototypes, offer pre-production inventory. Um, and we we see in the high power, a lot of customers are constantly looking for what's the most popular. Tell us the most popular products. And that's what's in stock with our distribution partners, especially on the 1060 products. So, Jonathan, why don't we discuss the, the 1060 specifically on the extreme product family? Um, I know TTI has that on, in stock, as you said. I think we've got about 90, 90 part numbers on the shelf right now. Can you describe for us um, how the customers are using the, the 1060 products and what kind of options you give them when it comes to customization? They're, they were designed with kind of a Lego design using our patented dovetail system. So they are flexible, but we also have all of the uh, standard products that are stocked and ready to go. So they integrate high density signals, split power terminals, or even just high power terminals up to 60 amps. Um, it's 60 amps if you're using a standard FR4, but if you're using a thicker copper layer, we've actually tested them all the way up to 95 amps. Um, the, the product's currently stocked and it has all the common layouts from the signal to the power um, ready to go for customers to be able to buy and start designing them in. And and we've seen a lot of customers really like and having them in stock. You know, Jonathan, you mentioned the dovetail system and, you know, I think that's uh, pretty interesting to hear about that. Um, You know, I don't think a lot of our customers or even our colleagues know about it, but what type of options do customers have uh, when configuring using the dovetail system? And also are these options available on our extreme configurator on molex.com. Yeah, so customers have the ability, they can select from side guides, top guides, or even unguided. We find a lot of customers want to use a single guide and not use both. It really depends on how much space they have on their PCB. Um, but there's other options that they can select from, from first mate, last break um, terminals, which we have up to three different lengths of terminals, or even just using the standard lengths of the, the power terminals or even signals. Um, the configurator webpage today is set up so that customers can pick any of the different types of layouts. Um, 
but it doesn't have every single feature. Uh, we're really trying to show on the configurator page all of the uh, most popular things that customers like to select. Um, for example, we, we don't have every layout of every different high density signals that's there, or even the lower cost, low plating option isn't really on the configurator site. We have our standard gold plating, um, but we will be in the, working on bringing that in into the future onto the site. I appreciate that overview there on on ten sixty and, and the 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 uh, extreme configurator, Jonathan. Um, if I can bring it back a little bit and talk about the uh, power group and new products. So, how active is the group when it comes to new product development, and generally, what is the driving force or the demand that, that is behind them? Yeah, so our group is has been really heavily invested in high power connectors, and we've been expanding product lines all over the place. So over the last three years, we released power plane connectors, which include bus bars and connector board to bus bar designs. We also have the next generation of 1060, which is the Guardian HD product line, which allows for up to 80 amps per contact. Um, especially um, that particular product was really suited for three kilowatt power supply designs. Um, and it's it's got a lot more power than 1060's got. You know, Obviously you can get to 80 amps or 130 amps with a thicker copper plane. No, thank you, Jonathan. And does this include value add MPIs, uh, such as off the shelf cable assemblies for the extreme family? So we've definitely had NPIs. So there's NPIs for PowerPlane 1060 and Guardian HD. Uh, we have also seen that there's cable assemblies, off-the-shelf cable assemblies in stock for the Guardian product line, which is an 11 millimeter pitch product family uh, for both wire to wire and wire to board options. Um, and then our cable team is actually working on a 1060 cable assemblies for the future release coming out. Um, we're just working on which ones will be the standard for off-the-shelf. You know, just to let the audience know, I know I've mentioned it in previous podcasts, TTI is, is always stocking all of Molex's new product introductions. So you can find them at your local TTI branch or on TTI.com. Um, what is it about TTI that makes the relation, relationship so special with the high power group, Jonathan? TTI offers a, a real rare combination of the local branch support um, and then the willingness to have the stock, right? We want them to be able to partner and be able to quickly support customers as they're working on their designs. So when I've personally worked with the TTI account managers in the past, I've found that they're extremely knowledgeable to be able to supporting customers and understanding the customer needs to make sure that from the prototype all the way into the production, customers are getting that, that support. I think you bring up a good point there, Jonathan. I mean, local branches, local salespeople, local branch product managers. So a lot of a lot of knowledge there. Plus, with us stocking all the off-the-shelf cable assemblies and all the standard product products, as well as any of the new products as they come out. Um, if you were going to sum that up to our audience today, I'm an engineer and a customer. What does that really bring me from a point of view of benefits of of dealing with TTI and Molex? You know, there, there are just so many customers out there in the industry. And um, it's, I mean, having that local support, having a person help you, uh, that can help to reduce your time to market. That can get that product moving forward. Um, you know, in, in today's market, we're always talking about time to market, forecasts, how do we get products out on time? And by having that personal relationship with somebody there to help out that helps us in a production standpoint to ensure that our products are getting delivered on time and, and built and out especially for high power because the design times are just so much shorter and customers are releasing products so much faster with all the different changes um, from in the high power world jonathan thank you for that insight and how do you see the market developing you know as we sit here in mid 2023 and going into 2024 for high power connection systems so our group has been extremely busy, uh, you know, max capacity building. Um, and we've seen just a very, very busy, busy uh, time frame and customer shifting and making a, a, a kind of a adapted with their new designs. Um, but we're expecting a, a little bit of slowdown, which means that our, our lead times are going to come down and, and be um, more manageable as a whole. But the design activity that we've seen in high power ha has not stopped. Um, customers are constantly calling us. They've got a new revision, a new design, and almost every single time adding more and more power so when you think about the like a 1060 product if they were using a three power before now they're using a four and then they're using a five and we're just seeing them grow and grow with how much amps current voltage um, that they need in the same systems 
No, that's good to hear, Jonathan. Certainly, I know from a customer perspective, they'll be very interested and happy that the, the lead times are coming down and you have capacity there, especially when you're talking about new designs and bringing new products. If um, if we're going to look at the, the markets and, and the design activity you've been seeing, is there, are there any particular areas of the market that you, you've seen more active than others? And generally speaking, what sort of applications have you been working on for, with new designs? Yeah, so some of the, the newer designs that we thought were really interesting for 1060 product is kind of home EV charging devices. So people, you know, now trying to take and put a 30 amp, a 50 amp or an 80 amp charger in their house. And 1060 is a really good fit in terms of inside the box to be able to help plug in and uh, interface with a lot of those cables, um, as well as just charging stations out there. Um, and then we've seen a lot of consumer devices using battery packs, you know, things like lawnmowers are now using battery batteries and charging and we've been seeing a lot of that stuff coming consumer products and the higher amperage you know if you think about how quickly you want to charge that lawnmower or that weed whacker we found that you know the 1060 products can fit really well on those yeah it's kind of crazy where the market's going and i think now it's more and more power and more and more products are now being operated in that battery environment so that that's great insight can i ask if you've got any final thoughts or in, inputs for our audience when it comes to things to look out for through the balance of 2023 and into 2024 Absolutely. So, you know, Molex has positioned ourselves in terms of high power. And so it, high power can come from the amp ranges of 30 amps to even 1500 amps or high voltage from 12 volts all the way to 1500 volt systems. Um, and when you're thinking about those products, you know, if anything comes up between 1500 volts or 1500 amps, you know, uh, Molex has the extreme product families that can help or our power wise or even our new power plane products that all fit within those high amps, high voltage applications. Do you have any new products coming out in the near future? So we do. Uh, we have 1060 Mezzanine. So it's our first time of taking a blade style product and doing a board-to-board uh, -board mezzanine style product that's coming out in Q4 of this year. Uh, it will have all of the, the great features that 1060 has where it's hybrid and it's signal. And then customers also can use that cool dovetail technology to configure it however they want. Um, and so we're, we, you know, I was really excited. I just got samples of that new product and it, it'll be coming out here in, in Q4 of this year. That's great, Jonathan. And then just as a reminder to the audience, uh, you'll be able to get that 1060 mezzanine from the local, from your local TTI branch or TTIinc.com. That was Jonathan Thompson from Molex, and thank you for your time and your thoughts on today's podcast. Thank you for having me. This is this was great. It was, it was the first time doing a podcast, so I, it was really interesting. Thank you. Thanks very much, Jonathan, and uh, goodbye to our audience. Thank you. That's it for this episode of the TTI Distribution Download. For more information on any of the topics you heard about today, reach out to your nearby TTI branch at 1-800-CALL-TTI or visit us online at tti.com.